Welcome to beautiful British Columbia. It's a winter day here on this beautiful lake. It snowed yesterday, as you can, I'm sure, see. If you're from BC, you know winter means big trout, and that is exactly what I'm gonna be targeting today on a little new lure. This is a little really natural colored soft plastic unscented dew worm. I may throw some scent on it. This is a bait legal lake, but I'm sure it will catch fish either way. Today is the first day I'm trying out this color, but I really like the look of this presentation because as you know, if you watch this channel, in winter for trout, I like to use real light tackle. I got four pound fluorocarbon on here. I got an ultra light rod and I like to use little almost ice fishing like jigs, marabou and soft plastic. And one of my favorite soft plastics to use is the same soft plastic pink worms that we use for steelhead in the winter as well. And this is one of those, but it's in, like I said, a very much more natural dew worm like pattern. So I'm excited. I think we can get some good action with this thing today. And winter trout in general is my favorite fishing of the year if I had to pick one thing. So I'm real stoked for today. Let's get fishing. fish of the day. I haven't even left the boat launch area. See ya. I don't know what it, I don't know what it is, but I got a lot of confidence today for some reason. Something's gonna happen. Something good's gonna happen. There's a fish. Oh, it's a big brown. Another big brown. Okay, I'm getting out of the kayak here. It's like two, three foot deep water here. So I'm good. All right, once again, this is a bait legal lake. So I'm gonna put a little dab, maybe a little bit more than a dab of scent on that. Get it all over my kayak too. So that's nice and scented up. Doesn't feel big. But this little artificial worm's catching fish. Ooh, there he goes. Hello, big fish just jumped within casting distance. I didn't see it jump, but I saw the big splash afterwards. And that is right over top of him. Let's see if I can get that fish. There he is. Got him. has to be the fish that jumped. Oh, there's a jump. I think that's a rainbow. Got him. That looks to me like, yeah, it's a rainbow trout. Huh, that's interesting. This is a really cutthroat trout dominant lake with the occasional brown. I almost never catch rainbows, especially big ones, but this is a decent one. There you go, nice rainbow. Back in the water. Has some sea lice on them, or lake lice rather. Camera didn't turn on in time to film it, but I just lost one. That felt, that felt good too. Oh man. Ooh, I'm getting real cold here. My thingies and posies are getting a little bit painful. But the sun 
just reached the other side of the lake, so that's where I'm going to go and fish. Well, it's nice and sunny and warm over on this side of the lake, but I haven't hooked a fish over here yet, so I'm going to take a second to plug a few things. First of all, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Both of those will be linked at the top of the description. I post fish pictures, I post a story when a video is going live so you'll know when videos are up, and I post other exclusive stuff on there too that you might not see in these videos. Look at that. I think I might have just spotted either a school of really little bait fish, but maybe even a school of kokanee on the surface here. Commotion on the surface right there. If it's something big enough to bite the jig, then maybe I'll get one here. And they disappeared as soon as I cast into them. Probably pretty small bait fish, but that's interesting to see either way. I've been fishing on the other side of the lake now for 15 or 20 minutes. This guy's going right under my boat. Barely, barely hooked. Oh, I'm doing not so good with the netting here, but I got him. There we go. Well, no giants yet today, but that's a nice fish on the black jig. He just swam through a hole in the net. That hole right there. Guess I need to uh, patch that up like I patched up the other hole that's beside it. Although that's probably not a great way to patch it because this thing might be rough on a fish. I'll maybe figure out a way to patch both of them differently. Okay, so if you watch this channel a lot, you know that I have many great ideas when it comes to fishing. And I just had another one of those ideas, so I am actually going to change my plans completely here. So I'm on this end of the lake, and I'm going to pedal all the way to the entire opposite end of the lake, which is 5 kilometers. It's 3 p.m. right now. I don't know exactly how fast I go, but I'm hoping to get there in an hour, and uh, it'll be a big effort thing, but I'll have, if I get there in that time frame, maybe an hour left of daylight to actually fish. And uh, I feel like I've already fished everything out on this end of the lake. I've gone all the way over both sides and all my spots that I like a lot. So I am going to do this for some reason. Honestly, if nothing else, I'm just doing this to keep warm because I was getting real cold. My hands and feet were not doing too good. Well, that took a little longer than I wanted it to. Pretty dark right now. Kind of scared. I'm just kidding. It's still pretty light out. I've got maybe an hour of uh, daylight left to fish, and I'm not all the way at the end of the, the uh, lake, but I'm pretty close, and I'm gonna start fishing here. I just got smacked. I just got smacked. There's a fish. Hello. It's been a while since I've felt head shakes. And this is the first fish here on the other side of the lake. Could be, oh, it's brown. It's a brown trout. Oh, it's a good brown trout. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
I need to land this fish. You see that? That right there is called weight. That's the biggest fish of the day, and it's a brown. Oh, and it's such a beautiful fish, too. Okay, okay. Yes, man, that is such a beautiful brown trout. I'm just gonna take him out of the water for two seconds to bring him to this side so I can show him to you. Man, that's a beautiful fish. All right, we are going 2.7K, 120 FPS to capture this beautiful, beautiful brown right here. He's in the water, now we're gonna get him released. Once again, that brown trout was on the little artificial soft plastic dew worm here. I switched and was fishing with a marabou jig for a while, but I switched back and apparently it paid off because that fish liked it. That fish really liked it. That was awesome. That was such a cool fish, man. I love brown trout. In fact, I love them enough to catch another one. That's what I'm trying to do. There's a fish. I'm literally backpedaling in the current of the river that flows out of this lake. And I just hooked into something casting down into the river. It feels big. It feels really big. It could just be giving me a rip because of the current, but this feels heavy, man. I gotta get to shore here. Just maneuver myself in the current here. Oh, it's a big brown. Another big brown. Okay, I'm getting out of the kayak here. It's like two, three foot deep water here, so I'm good. Turn this around so you can see what's going on. Oh, the current just almost pushed my kayak the other way. Get that at the right angle. Okay, I'm gonna try and net this guy. Right at the end of the night here. Okay. I'm holding on to the kayak with one hand and fighting the fish with the other hand. This isn't super ideal. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get the net. Oh, don't leave me, kayak. I'm gonna get the net out and we're gonna get the kayak to shore here. Or at least into these bushes. So it'll stay. Hopefully it'll stay while I go net this fish. Actually, right, the camera is there. I can't leave the kayak. Okay, I've got a. I've got to bring the kayak with me. All right, kayak, come on, you're coming. You're coming with me down into the even faster current. This should be fun. How do I do this here? I just need to use this hand to feel. So I have to let go with the kayak. But I'm in shallow water now, so 
think I'm doing good here. Not as much current as well. Camera angle looks good, not that you can probably see anything in this light. Might hear that drag clicker though. That's, that might be an even bigger brown trout than the last one. That might be bigger. Okay, we're getting them close here. There we go, there we go. Big brown. Yes! Oh man. Last light in the dark. Big, big brown trout here. Let me see if I have a headlamp here so I can film them well. I might not. Oh no, I might not. Damn it. I don't have a headlamp and I think my phone is dead. I don't know how I'm gonna show you this fish. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see him. No way. My phone's turning on. It has like, a f I thought it had like 3% battery or something. Okay, 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 this is gonna be my chance. My phone might die right away. Once I turn that light on, it's a terrible old phone. Oh no, did it just die? I think it just turned on and died. Oh no, it did. Man, there's no way that I just caught like a 21 inch brown. This is honestly my biggest brown I've ever caught in this lake. And I can't film it because there's no light. Well, I looked and I do not have a headlamp. My phone is not gonna turn on. So I unfortunately am just gonna have to get this brown trout on his way here. Bye bye buddy. I just caught my biggest brown trout in this lake and I think that was my second biggest brown trout ever and I didn't have a light to film him with. That's a bit of a shame, but it's really dark. I'm staying here later than I planned on, so I gotta get out of here real quick. There is no way that I just caught what I think is my second biggest brown trout ever, and my biggest brown trout ever in this lake for sure, and I don't think any of it is gonna show up on camera because it was too dark. I'll look at the footage later and maybe you'll see something. That's a bit of a shame, but lesson learned. I will never forget a headlamp again after that. Thank you very much for watching this video. It's real dark and I gotta zoom back to where I'm getting picked up. Oh, subscribe.